Oh, wow. That is nice. <laughs> you can pick Mari-san. It's perfect. I'm really impressed. Fine. Well then, shall we head over to Queen Rouge? Oh, while you were doing your makeup, I talked to the owner about you coming in. The like Koshino-kun said, there's apparently a system in place where a girl with great sales potential gets the attention of Akutsu. I understand. Basically, I just have to aim to be number one at the bar, right? How confident are you? I can't make any guarantees, but I'll give it my all. Then I'm with you all the way, a lady. By this place sometimes, but it's been a while since I've been inside. The owner remembered you from last time. Said he wished you were there every night instead of just one. The undercover cabaret girl of his dreams returns. Oh, take this before you go. It's a wireless earpiece. If you end up going somewhere with Akutsu, we can use it to communicate. I'll be there in a flash if things go even remotely south. Got it. I know you have my back, Yagami-san. You bet. Good luck then. Ah! Oh! Saori-san! Ah, it's you! Yeah. Looking at you takes me back to better days. You are a cut above. A sight for sore eyes. Nice to see you again. Have you been well? I'm fine. I'm fine! Well, that's a lie. Last time you were here, we were a good place. But times have only gotten tougher. Now, we're just a fast and cheap dive bar with mediocre service. Yes, I heard a bit about that. Keep this on the down low, but uh, the former owner lost a bet in Mahjong. So we sold the bar. We're under RK's management now. And ever since they took over, we're just like every other CD place. We don't even make a profit unless we're shuffling people in and out, which of course impacts the girls' performance. But I hear the girls with promise catch the eye of the RK members. Haha! <laughs> so you already know about that. Yes, RK treats people well who treat their bottom line well. If they notice a special girl, they'll give her a bonus to show their generosity. Or maybe Akutsu-san just wants to drink with cute girls. Where do girls usually meet up with Akutsu-san? No particular location. Just depends on his mood, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! But you have your eye on that bonus, I see. Well, if anyone could get it, it's you, Sari-san. I'm rooting for you. Can you hear me, Sari-san? Yes. So you got in okay. Just so you know, I think I'm gonna call for support. Support? Yeah, so in case you meet Akatsu, we'll be ready to pounce on him. But you'll be on your own until then.
So, are you the new girl the manager brought in? You're <laughs> kind of older than I thought you'd be. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Huh. What club were you at before this? Oh, I'm usually an office worker. But I worked here once about two years ago. What, so you just come back whenever you feel like it? Like some part-time gig? Really? You treat this job like it's a cakewalk and expect us not to be offended? Oh, uh, point taken. So, I guess tonight I should sit back and watch the professionals show me how it's done? What? Are you dissing us? What? You can haze new girls, but if they give it back, you lose your cool? Excuse me? Now, now. You can't scowl like that when customers are here to have a good time. You little... <laughs> Wow. I thought you were just another snob, but you've got barbed wire where it counts. Megu! You're gonna let a new chick talk to us this way? Old or new doesn't matter. If you've got the goods, I have no complaints. I'm going to do my best, and I'll try not to weigh you two down. Tauri-san, Megu-san, Kuriko-san, we have customers! Let's get to work! Well... Time for the new girl to show us what people see in her. <sighs> yes, I'm looking forward to it. Hello! I'm Megu! <laughs> Welcome! I'm Kuniko. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, John. Uh, come, come, sit here. Wow, you're beautiful. Oh, the best of the bunch. Man, I am loving this place. Uh, um, so, how are you? But, you know, I could make any prosecutor shake in his boots just by yelling, OBJECTION! <laughs> That's awesome, you killer lawyer, you. Jeez, why is Genda Sensei getting all the attention? For your information, I passed the national bar exam with top marks. Uh-huh. Oh, what's a bar exam? Oh, you've got to be kidding. You ladies have really never heard of the bar exam? It's the toughest certification test in Japan! <laughs> I've heard of it. Oh, so it's a certificate? Well, I passed kanji level 3 when I was in middle school. That's not even comparable. Kanji aptitude is a very fine certification. Huh? You passed your stupid bar exam how many years ago now? And you're still bragging about your scores? Seriously? What? Um, I, uh... Mm, mm. Uh, sorry, John. You can't talk that way to a customer. No, she's right. It's a dumb thing to brag about, isn't it? But the bar is really hard. Not everyone passes it. There's so much studying to do, day and night. Oh my god, he's crying. I can't believe you became such a high-powered lawyer. Almost nobody has the brains to do that. Yeah? You think so? That really means something coming from you, sorry son. <laughs> from me specifically? <laughs> Why is that? <clears throat> the pay. <clears throat> what is it? Oh, you want some champagne? <laughs> what? One bottle of champagne, please, for this fine young man here. No, 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 wait, wait. <gasps> There's our Mr. Big Time Lawyer. So generous. Thank you. Uh, is it okay if I have some too? <laughs> 
What a blessing to have such a great protege. I... Um... Sure. So, which champagne do you want? The best in the house, of course. What? Really? <gasps> wow! Wait. Is one bottle really enough for the five of us? <laughs> Get the sensei, please! You are right. Let's make that two bottles of the premium stuff. There you go. Now we're talking, Hoshino-kun. Oh my god. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Now it's a party, ladies. Really? Thank you! <laughs> Listen up, girls. This is a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I tell you, I love Cabaret Club so much. <laughs> Me too, Genda Sensei. Especially this one. The customer service is on point. I wish I could come here every night and stay till morning. Oh, you two know just how to flatter us. So true. Hey, in case you come back, would you like to reserve a bottle in your name? You guys are lawyers, so I'm sure you can afford it. <laughs> well, we're not a big firm. But you know what? <laughs> Let's do it! Nice one, boss! You're the best! Uh-oh. Was wrong, sorry, son. You're looking kind of gloomy there. <laughs> Come on, how about a smile? Yeah, sorry, Kun. I was thinking, if you could be just a bit friendlier, you'd be the bell of the ball. <laughs> um, do you guys already know, sorry, son? You act like you're good friends. Hmm, they do seem pretty close, right? Huh? I don't know. But would it be so wrong if we did know each other? Of course not. But this does happen to be our first meeting. <laughs> Silly sensei. The first time? Is it really, though? <laughs> <laughs> You're both teasing me so much. <laughs> Poor Megasan and Kuniko-san are giving me dirty looks. Oh, I mean, that's because... Something does seem fishy. They're suspicious of us, Hoshino Sensei. Ah, uh, um, what? Uh, sorry, son. But I just can't seem to control myself. Uh, uh, um. Oh, am I being too naughty? Hoshino-kun, this, this is inappropriate. Stop this, now, both of you. Oh, uh, excuse me? Uh, can we get that girl at this table too? Yes, sir. You mean sorry, sir. Oh, Correct? oh, me too. Wait a minute, what about us? Oh my, <laughs> please, please everyone. She's only one person. I guess the new girl's a hit? Oh, she sure showed us up. This is crazy. We can see defeat, sorry, son. I'm so sorry we were rude before. Oh, please. I just got lucky tonight. Yeah, right. I don't think I could have done better than you in any department. You're a natural at conversation, and so sexy, too. I learned a lot, actually. And woo, I drank a lot more than usual. Thanks for the hard work, you three. I bet you barely got any breaks. It was one customer after another. What a night. We haven't had this good a take in a while. And it's all thanks to Saori-san. No. I couldn't have done it without Megu-san and Kuniko-san at my side. 
Come on, it was pretty obvious who the MVP was this evening. Boss, seeing as you're here, does that mean Sorry Sun's getting a bonus? That she is. Who would have thought this could happen on her first day? All I can say is, wow. Akutsu-san wants to meet you and show his appreciation by giving you the bonus himself. There's already a taxi waiting outside. Really? That is so awesome. No kidding! So the bonus thing is real, huh? I hope I get one someday. So, where exactly is Akutsu-san waiting for me? Apparently it's a surprise! He doesn't just let that information out. But I'm sure it's somewhere in Kamurocho. And don't worry, I'm told there'll be another cab to take you home. I see. Well then, I'm looking forward to it. Don't worry, sorry son, I'm standing by. If you need me, I'll be there in a flash. Driver, could you tell me where we're headed? Oh, <laughs> we're almost there, miss. We're not leaving Kamrocho, are we? No, no. No need to worry. I think he's driving to the Thug Hangout, the underground club. That's where I met Soma for the first time. I thought it had been shut down, but maybe they opened it back up. We'll be arriving soon. Sorry, son I presume? We've been expecting you. You are very beautiful. Akutsu-san will be happy. Thank you for inviting me. RK takes care of people who keep the cash flowing. The fact you're here means you have a talent for it. You're one of us now, saori san If you would follow me... Certainly. Here she is, Akutsu-san. Tonight's heroine, Saori-san from Queen Rouge. Ah, <laughs> and I see why. You're hotter than your reputation. Come here, let me give you some motivation to keep at it. I've heard so much about you, Akutsu-san. It's a pleasure to meet someone so famous. Have a seat. I'm not going to ask you to pour after a hard night's work. This sake is not cheap. That's cool though, right? <laughs> Gotta show my appreciation, don't I? Oh, there's no need for that. Well, on to the moment of truth. Your bonus. One million yen. Quite a stack of cash for an office worker. Yeah. It's a big pile of money for anyone. Oh, even for lawyers? Shirosaki sensei I'm not sure I follow. This lady lawyer came poking around before. Except she was trying to find out about Kawhi at the time. You see, when it comes to Kamurocho, we have eyes everywhere. Anybody suspicious gets reported to us fast. Most of the eyes working for me or Soma are spies in the police force. And now, we've got a law lady in the bag. <gasps> so, what do you want with me? Who sent you here, huh? Well, this took a turn for the worse, didn't it? You're only just noticing that. Kinda slow for a lawyer, aren't you? Oh, I didn't mean for me. It just got worse. For you. <laughs> what the? Man, you were harder to find than I thought, Akatsu. Wow, so it was you pulling sorry John strings. Hell of a sight. Some piece of shit ex Tojo man thinks he's king of the hill now? Don't make me laugh. You're the worthless pile of shit, Higashi. 
props were having the spine to show up here without backup. And after you barely escaped with your life, Yagami. Hold that thought. This isn't the whole party. Huh? The only guy I really want to fuck up is Soma. But I guess... I'll have to settle for you losers tonight. Kaito... Couldn't just stay dead, huh? Nice work, Sari-san. We'll take it from here, but... Did you ring the gong for us? What? Nothing kicks off a fight better than a beauty ring and a gong. Yeah, give us something to get the mood going. Okay, well then. Gentlemen, do your worst! Get ready! Let's go! Hell yeah! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs>
Can't run anymore, Akatsu. Can we talk now? Where's Soma? Where's he hiding? I don't know. He moves around more than I do. Really? He really just another one of his pawns? Just gonna cover for him and obey his every word? Soma can tell when someone's lying. He's always been able to. I won't be able to get away with bullshitting him. Friend or foe, if he finds a traitor, he stomps the rat dead. He can sniff out the faintest scent of betrayal. That's why I've always told him the truth. No point trying to BS him. In this business, nothing beats the ability to detect liars. Are you serious right now? You're buying into some bullshit rumors, dumbass. <sighs> You just don't fucking get it, man. He can practically see the future. He was the first to bail from the Tojo clan. And usually, you need a shit ton of money to leave a clan if you don't want to be killed. That's what it's like to be a Yakuza. Huh. Remember who you're talking to, asshole. But Soma, he somehow knew there was no future for the Tojo, so he jumped ship. With no money and not even a word to the bosses, just up and left. There's no way he could get away with that. That's what I thought. I said the same thing to him when he was leaving. I warned him. They'll fucking erase you! The bastard just laughed. He said the clan was finished. No way could they kill him. Then he had the balls to give me advice. Said I should get out too and not worry about it. What did he mean by that? By that point, the Tojo clan didn't have the resources to properly deal with the Vectors. Soma understood that, and sure enough, he left without a word, and nobody ever tried to fuck with him. It's true. Soma was the first guy to slip out. No doubt the dude knew what was up. While the Tojo clan was limping to its grave, Soma went underground and built the arcade network all by himself. And that's how you became his errand boy. What do you expect? I can't control Soma. I'm just the public face of RK. He holds the reins. I've been cool with that ever since I joined. <laughs> At least you're enough of a man to admit what you are. Akatsu, Soma's being used by public security. Did you know that? Public security? Why was Soma looking for Shinya Kawai and Kamurocho? I don't know. All I heard was somebody hired him to do that. Why is he after Kawana? I... Uh... How are Soma and public security linked? Give me something. Doesn't it at least ring a bell? I don't know, man. The fuck you mean ring a bell? I don't know shit! Wait. Nah. But maybe... What is it? Doc, is it possible that Soma himself is public security? Soma working in public security? What do you mean? Well... Public security trains people to become spies, so they can infiltrate and collect intel. Right wing, left wing, anti-establishment citizens groups, you get the picture. They usually try to find a weak spot in the org, someone they can turn to their side.
So yeah, that's one way to do it. But sometimes a cop who's already in public security goes undercover to infiltrate something like a Yakuza organization. What you get is a Yakuza who knows everything about the police and would be super good at sniffing out liars. You're saying Soma is actually an undercover agent? You heard what this fool said. Soma figured out the Tojo clan didn't have a future, so he ditched them. You think some street punks got that kind of foresight? He couldn't, unless he had intel from the law. That'd be a different beast. He'd have to know the Tojo clan and Kamurocho like the back of his hand. Including knowing that the Tojo clan would dissolve soon. Yep. And then after he gets out, what does he do next? He makes a place for all the Yakuza coming out of the Tojo clan to find each other, right? Where public security can easily monitor them. That's why RK is still coming to ex-Tojo clan Yakuza like me. In other words, RK was founded by public security to manage all the displaced Yakuza? Sure as hell sounds like their M.O. No matter how many crime rings they bring down, another always pops up in its place. This way, public security doesn't have to start from scratch. They can just keep tabs on all the free agents. But it's mind-blowing that they'd install their own leader. Sure as hell sounds like collusion to me. Soma? An undercover public security agent? Shit! We gotta move! Cut the fucking chit-chat! Why? He's gonna be fucking listening in on us right now! If he's public security and heard all that... Get your shit together, Akatsu. What does it matter? Don't you get it? There's no way he'd want anyone else to fucking know! Stop shooting! Found us. To return justice to the courtroom, Yagami makes a series of bold moves. However, Bondo, the man behind public security, makes a power play of his own, and the murderous Soma is still at large. Soma is believed to be a plant from public security, but that knowledge comes at a fatal price. So, the two shooters were dressed as policemen? Yes, they're the ones who shot Akutsu. They couldn't have been real officers though, right? Yeah. I'm guessing Soma gave uniforms to two of his own guys. Regardless of their affiliation, they were there on Soma's orders. Kaido-san's theory is that he's actually a public security agent. Get this talk. In America, they call people who go undercover, moles. <laughs> moles, huh? If this really was public security, I can't believe they'd go so far as murder. Well, Soma probably thinks he's backed into a corner. Word got out he's been a plant since his Tojo days. Not even being the head honcho will save him. He'd be nothing but a rat. And RK's got plenty of ex-Tojo in it who'd want his head for that. I hadn't considered that. Those fake cops tried to take us out, too. They'll silence anyone who gets in the way. Hey, you think your office could post some officers at Genda's? At least for tonight. Sure, I can get that arranged. Shouldn't you guys have protection, too, though? 
I appreciate the concern. But Kaito-san and Higashi are ex-Yakuza. Not exactly a good mix, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> you said it. Thanks, but no thanks. Soma's probably gonna head even deeper underground after all this. But if we can track him down, we'll get the dirt on public security we need. Then we can do right by Sawa-sensei, and even bring Kawana and Reiko Kusumoto to justice. All right, we get it. Let's walk Saori-san back to her office first, though. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. Good idea. Don't worry, Saori-san. You should be safe from here on. Ah, uh, what gives, Saori? You change up your look and the guys line up to protect you? <laughs> Maybe you should put some effort into it once in a while yourself. Are you telling me this isn't effort? night. You all right? When I heard Akatsu was shot, I just froze. All I could think was, what if something happened to Saori-san? Couldn't spare a thought for us? Well, we're glad everyone's safe. Yeah, but Soma got the jump on us. He's a bigger threat than we thought. What do you mean by that? We think he's working undercover for public security. Undercover? It's a new development. I'm sure it puts a damper on Genda-sensei and Hoshino-kun's big night out. Huh? Well, uh... I only showed up because Hoshino-kun talked me into it. You said you wanted to see what it was like in there, too! Did I really? Hmm. I don't recall that. Incredible. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go change. To put it lightly, Looks like you guys are in for the cold shoulder for a while. Interesting. If what you say is true, a public security agent is scooping up thugs into RK. Yeah, and his name's Kazuki Soma. We haven't confirmed it yet. But if he really is an undercover agent, then everything starts to make sense. Public security gets to use RK as their pawns, who feed them intel from the streets. All those scumbags are just working for public security without even knowing it. But that setup is exactly what let Soma and RK grow so successful in the first place. For example, I'm sure the guys who killed Akatsu are RK, but they were definitely decked out in real police gear. Soma's role in public security would make getting that gear easy. If that's true, we can't trust anyone in uniform now. Should we be concerned about the police downstairs? Don't worry. They're here thanks to Mafia. All things considered, can't the police do anything about Soma? Well, according to public security, there's no one by that name on record. So that's a dead end. They must have wiped him from their files already. Soma had to have been in the Tojo clan for ten years minimum. He and Akutsu were both in the Nikyo Consortium. Higashi knows more about that stuff than me, though. Okay. We'll ask him about it tomorrow, then. Hmm. Sounds good. 